Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hi everybody, another asshole consulting video. They don't have to be videos, they can be emails. Uh, and just so you know, what I'm gonna do is start reminding everyone in case Google, not Google, what well, is Google, because Google owns YouTube. If for whatever reason my uh, video channel gets taken down or there's flags and all that, uh, there will be a backup over at Daily Motion. Um, so in case you were wondering, oh God, we're, we, we, there's always, so just kind of train your brain, think, oh, what happened? Or just go to my website, captaincapitalism.blogspot.com. Uh, if for whatever reason the video, not there hasn't been a scare. I'm just I'm doing the front work now, uh, in case you were looking like what happened. Now, don't worry, it's over at Daily Motion. So, <clears throat> uh, essence of my request: I need to set up two online identities. The first is as a fiction writer. The second is as a consultant. My goal as a writer is to write Molyneux-esque philosophic sci-fi to feed my passion and build a following of people who worship my genius and send me money. That might take some time, so my goal as a consultant is to ask rate Dilbert-type bosses for simple services they're too lazy to learn and too stupid to trust their employees to do. I've got a pen name for the fiction writing and a company name for the consultation. Of course, I can't just I can't start my profitable ass raping of the man until I stop jerking off. So I need to set up as a writer one a website where info products can be purchased instantly and downloaded to vlog and or blog three podcasts. As a consultant, one, as above, more or less, I'll tweak the differences. My main concern is that I do this with as small a learning curve as possible without getting ass raped by hosting companies that nickel and dime upsells me on their options or reading a dozen shitty outdated pamphlets made to look like Kindle books. So, which hassle-free yet cheap free vlog, blog, podcast host would you recommend? All right, I would recommend for blogger, I just go with blogger. I like blogger. If you're worried about Google being political, which is a, its concern, I mean, that's why I back up my books, go to WordPress or sometimes just have your own domain, set up your own domain and your own site. Uh, but WordPress and Blogger are fine. Um, maybe, what was it, Type TypePad? I think that's even still around. But it's, Blogger's just very easy. I, I like it. Uh, for Vlog, you're going to have to go YouTube because that's the main thing. But I would also have a daily motion account as well just as a backup um because you never you never know with youtube it's just you know it's one thing where okay gen x is in charge of um silicon valley i'm waiting for these social justice warriors the, this generation to become middle age and take over google and then they'll just hey i don't like that delete and then you know that's how it goes uh, and then for hosting for podcasts, I would recommend SoundCloud. I'm on Podomatic right now, but it, it's, it, it's ugly. It's not, it's not user-friendly. Um, it's getting better, but SoundCloud is just way more crisp, way more intuitive. It's right there. Download right there. Boom. Done. And, and it's very simple. How frequently, sh frequently should I vlog, blog, and podcast? Every fucking day for the next 10 years, because I don't know who the fuck you are. No one's going to know who the fuck you are. This took me 10 years to build up to get the reputation. And it wasn't just like, hey, I'm Eric Larry. Hey. Uh, I remember getting excited when I got 200 hits one day. I'm like, whoa, my God. And that was, you know, eight, nine years ago. Uh, but this has been going on for, yeah, 10 years now. And just get used to it. It's like getting a doctorate. It really is. You're just going to have to put in the time um, to do it. So I, I find it very cute that you're just going to go consult. Who, who the fuck are you? I mean, at minimum, you're going to need a, a, an advanced degree and years' experience in an industry. Why would anyone hire you? You know, and it's it's not for me to be so smug, but it's I understand the only reason asshole consulting works, or the only reason my books sell, is because I have built up a brand name for myself over the years. This took many years to build, so you just can't come in with dick fuckity roo. Hey, uh, hire me, pay me more, cause I'm I I want to consult. It doesn't work that way. So um, that yeah, you just got to build it up. You just got to build it up for the next. You know, you don't have to do it ten years. I think there's smarter ways to grow your your um, readership and your following. But I never really intended it to be like I wanted to get readership and following. I just I just wanted to rant. What other principles of success would you recommend? Um, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to really 
right and establish yourself first. Because really, I mean, what are you, are you a 20 something limp dick? You know, you think, ah, I'm just gonna start a business. Is that it? Is that what you're gonna do? Who's gonna hire you? Why would they hire you? What reputation do you have? And then you're gonna write Molyneux-esque philosophic sci-fi? Really? You take an IQ test? Cause you better have a fucking IQ of 130 to even approach Molyneux-esque. I mean, you better have some really interesting independent insights to approach at that level. And, you know, again, this you can write all the books you want. Who Did you build up a following? Who's going to buy it? I mean, this, this better be some amazing ass shit you got right in there to be plain Molyneux-esque. Um, but other stuff, other principles, yeah, just, you know, don't quit your day job. Do this part-time, man. Become a security guard. Get something where you can just bang out material every day. And don't expect... Uh, um, huge success overnight. It doesn't happen. You got to write amazing shit. You got to be truly unique and independent. You got to be ahead of the curve and predicting shit that no one ever thinks about or dare not talk about. And uh, yeah, keep yourself anonymous if you're going to have yourself a daytime job because otherwise you can get docs and then people, hey, he's just so nasty on the internet and your spineless pussy, you know, employers, you oh, can't have you anymore. You said something that was rightist. If you're gonna say something online, say leftist because then it's okay. But don't say anything that's right leaning or freedom or libertarian. Don't don't dare say that. So uh, anyway, so best of luck. Hope hope you do well. But yeah, lock and load for a long time. It's gonna take a while to build that up. Toodles.